Okay, uh, so welcome you all. Uh, so first of all, we know uh, today, uh, it's my honor to tell you something about the Horseshoe Crab, right? And just to speak, just talk about uh, what that animal is. Uh, this is an unforgettable year to each of us, right? And uh, the COVID-19 pandemic has already infected uh, more than 160 million people and killed about 3.5 million. But this year, in fact, uh, has another meaning to me. Professor Brian Morton, okay, uh, on the uh, 28th of March, Professor Brian Morton passed away at the age of 78. Um, he was my former PhD supervisor. In Hong Kong, he was named as the father of conservation because of his great contribution to marine conservation, uh, both in terms of his teaching, uh, research, and also community service. Professor Brian Morton retired from the University of Hong Kong in the year 2003. Uh, some people, particularly those from Hong Kong, should still remember what happened that year. Outbreak of SARS. I still remember um, every one of us who attended his, Professor Morton's retirement party wore a mask, just like what I'm doing now. Uh, the SARS outbreak had infected more than 8,000 people and killed more than 700, with 40% of them coming from Hong Kong. And uh, in his party, Professor Brian Morton showed me his work on the horseshoe crab. He stressed that this animal is extraordinary and is facing with extinction risk. So because of his encouragement, I started working on the horseshoe crab. And uh, after working on, say, uh, the marine snails and gastropods for more than 10 years. 17 years have gone since the SARS outbreak. Sadly, we are being hit by another coronavirus because they both, the SARS and the COVID-19, belong to the same book, the coronavirus. Um, the, uh, because of SARS, I was connected with fossil crab in year 2003. Today, coronavirus also connects with fossil crab. Why? Because fossil crab saves our lives by the blood. Because the blood of the fossil crab is used to produce a test kit or to check for the endotoxin detection. Endotoxin is actually a part of the cell wall of gram negative bacteria. Pharmaceutical products are contaminated by endotoxin can cause fever and even cause death in patients. So that's why uh, implantable device and injectable drugs including vaccines and therapy uh, to uh, cure COVID-19 uh, disease have to be tested for endotoxin. Of course, because of uh, the increase in demand right, for manufacturing uh, COVID-19 vaccine, the horseshoe crab, of course, is under further threat. Uh, for fossil crab, in fact, in America, the fossil crab blood, of course, uh, there's a great demand, but there's regulation. Only one third of the blood is allowed to be taken from each fossil crab. Okay, and uh, having said that, all the animals, after 
donating blood have to be returned back to the natural environment. But still, right, uh, there's a post-flat uh, mortality of, of about 15%. But the use in pharmaceutical in the pharmaceutical industry is not the only threat that also preservation. About one million adult hospital threats are harvested at stake for capturing uh, fields and wealth in the United States. And uh, there's also a great demand of the hospital threat in Asia because of the blood. For making the testing. But in Asia, also are also targeted for human consumption. In fact, there are four species of hospital traps in the world. The American species is found along the eastern coast of the United States and on Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. The other three species occur in Asia, and uh, they live in shallow estuarine coastal and marine environments from Japan in the north to India. These crabs, during the reproductive season, adults they form mates in pairs and migrate to upper shore on the beach and spawn. After hatching, Juveniles live on the beach for more than 10 years before reaching maturity and moving to the sea. Most of them save our lives right, by their blood. Now they are taken to the same thing. So, can we save them in return? And how? Many people familiar with the slogan, think globally, act locally. But for conservation measures to be effective, we have to act both globally and locally. So what have we been doing to conserve the host crab in Hong Kong? In collaboration with the Ocean Park uh, Conservation Foundation, we have been running a hostel crab berry program for high schools since year 2009. In this program, uh, the university provides technical support and laboratory read hostel crabs to the schools. And the students are responsible for keeping these animals, looking after them for half a year. During this period, they have to rear the animals to uh, maintain the water quality of the, uh, the supporting system. And uh, at the end of the program, the, all the students from different uh, schools come together and they release the hostel crab to the wild right, on the beach together in the summer event. This program nurtures students' love and care of animals. And, um, it also uh, helped in uh, developing an emotional bond between the students and the press. This program is very successful and now becomes a flagship program of the Ocean Park Conservation Foundation. With more than 3,000 students participated in the program in the past 10 years. At the international level, uh, scientists and uh, researchers from univers uh, universities in the United States as well as in Asia established the Horseshoe Crab uh, Specialist Group under the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, IUCN, uh, in the year 2012. Uh, the IUCN is uh, the largest, one of the largest uh, professional environmental organizations. The red list of fresh species produced by the uh, organization has the most comprehensive information of global endangered uh, species uh, information. 
and uh, the information actually is used by government agencies and NGOs in setting conservation priorities. The host to prep specialist work under the IUCN provides a platform for exchanging and sharing information and experience in hostel crab conservation. And under the guidance of a specialist group, uh, and also through the collaborative efforts uh, among the scientists in different countries, the red list status of two hostel crab species were uh, reassessed and updated to recently. With the state of the American coastal crab being elevated from uh, its concern to vulnerable. And therefore, the dry spine coastal crab in Asia from data deficient to endangered. In, uh, and now we are doing the, the assessment for the uh, The specialist group also coordinates. Symposiums and uh, public outreach activities. In further extending public outreach activities around the world, the specialist group has designated 20th of June every year as the International Day of Postal Crap. So this year, actually, we are talking about next Sunday. So, what are we going to do, right? Uh, on, on that day, birth in here, exhibition, uh, talk, uh, video and film show, and also web webinars are organized to celebrate the uh, day. So these are, these are members of the student committee of this uh, hospital session. Conservation is a long and winding road. There is still a lot of work to do in uh, hospital conservation. As I mentioned earlier, the red list status of two hospital species were updated recently. And the other two species, the assessment is on the way, and hopefully uh, it can be completed in about a year. Other than that, because there's a great demand of hospital blood, because of say, uh, because now we, we need uh, a lot of the vaccines, right, for COVID and nineteen. There's a dramatic increase in the demand for the hospital crab blood. So there's an urgency to find replacement. Right? Hopefully, we can find we, we can find some uh, drugs uh, that can replace right, the uh, crab blood. In fact, pets. Actually, have been developed, which based on the reaction between the blood, right, and, and, and once the hospital blood encounter, I will come to the blood and stop. And using this mechanism, that synthetic test has been developed. But the validity of this test has yet to be accepted globally. The Asian uh, hospital crab observation network was established recently. This network is trying to uh, standardize and uh, coordinate population monitoring work in different countries and regions, so as to provide high quality data right, for long term population assessment. Other public engagement activities going on, including dish cleanup activities to improve the quality of the nursery and uh, spawning beaches. And also uh, uh, campaigns organized uh, to advise and educate uh, fish markets and city restaurants not to sell for the crab. Beautiful and lovely animals are always iconic species in the conservation. Uh, this is a poster for the uh, International Hospital Crab Day this year, the year 2021. Uh, uh, Designed by a, uh, a Japanese. You know, right? Many animals, uh, lovely animals and beautiful animals, use a logo for many uh, uh, 
and to know by the function of the Although host of self, I call it fluff, may not be as fluffy and uh, interesting and beautiful as those uh, iconic pieces, they still deserve our concern. Not only because they are living fossil, with an evolution history uh, which predates the dinosaurs, but their blood has saved millions of lives. Not to mention their ecology, their ecological significance in the region. I want to end my talk right, with a quote from a greatest teacher and philosopher at the same time. Everything has to feel to you, but not everyone feels to you. And I hope that the beauty of the fossil trap right, can be discovered right, by the public 